Welcome back painting friends. I was asked by a viewer to make a unicorn jumping over a rainbow. So that's what we're going with today. Get ready to have all of your colors out. You, I just realized that I forgot to put black on my palette. This is how I roll. So I'm gonna get some black paint real quick, put it on my palette, and then I can tell you what colors we're gonna need. We are gonna need light blue, and then I'm gonna do like a really light green. So I mixed yellow and green together white, all the rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and black that I had forgotten just a second ago. Don't forget to get all of my favorite brushes. I've got my one inch flat brush and then my 10, six, and one round brush. I always have a cup of water handy for keeping my brushes clean and a rag. So let's get started. I'm gonna start today off with my number 10 round brush. And I'm just gonna kinda lay out where my sky is versus where my ground is. So for my sky, I'm gonna make Kind of like a hill right here and then a hill right here okay so everything above this I am going to make this light blue color now everything below that let me wash that brush off set it aside everything below that I am gonna mix with that um, lime green color so that yellow and that green mix so I'm just gonna take my brush kind of mix those up I want it to be a really nice bright green color and so everything below that is going to be painted in that really pretty green color. All right, let's get these areas painted. both of these areas done, we're gonna wipe our brush off and wash our brush off. I'm gonna let my background dry and then we are gonna add in our unicorn, our rainbow, and a couple other fun details. Now that we have our background dry, let's go ahead and lay out a couple of things. We're gonna lay out where our rainbow is first and then we'll worry about our unicorn next. Um, if your colors are pretty good at going right on top of a blue, you can just put them right on top but what I'm gonna do is actually use my one inch flat brush to create um, a nice thick white area so that my rainbow is nice and bright. So my rainbow, I'm gonna have it just kind of coming up here. I think I'm gonna start here. We're gonna come over and then down, okay? So that's the direction my rainbow is going in. I just want this to be a nice white color. Might go over it a couple times just to kind of clean it up. Perfect, I used my number one flat brush, I'm sorry, my one inch flat brush to do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my number 10 round brush and I'm gonna make some what I like to call um, kindergarten flower or kindergarten clouds. So they're going to have a straight line at the bottom and just a couple of bumps at the top. We really want them to look very cartoonish. You can make as many of these as you want as you get closer to the bottom of your canvas and closer to your grass. You're going to want to make them a little bit smaller. Ones you have up higher, you can even make a little bit bigger. You can go ahead and paint those in white. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'm gonna lay out just a little bit of where my unicorn's gonna go. I'm gonna switch over to my number six round brush for my unicorn. And my unicorn is gonna have a pretty simple shape to it. So I'm gonna have my unicorn kind of coming this way over the rainbow. So I'm gonna make the body of my unicorn, it's gonna kind of look like a potato, okay? Pretty simple. Big oval in the sky just past my rainbow. From there, I'm gonna have one of her legs is gonna come down and then kind of bend. The other one is going to be straight out. Her back legs are gonna be kind of going back over the rainbow right here so we can't quite see them. Now her tail is gonna be big and flowy, so we can go ahead and kind of lay this out. I'm gonna have her tail just kind of coming off of her body like this, but we'll have to add that on after our rainbow is finished. And then her head, now horse necks and you know unicorn necks are a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna start back here on the body and I'm gonna make like a letter C shape. Okay, kind of looks like a smiley face, it looks like a flattened out letter C. And then the front of her neck, I'm gonna have just kind of connect down here to the front of the body. She's gonna have her oval head right here with her ear and then her horn. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down her nose a little bit. Then we can go ahead and paint this space in white. Now remember, right now it looks just like a white blob flying but after we get all of her hair on and we get another layer of paint in there and some detail, she will look much more like a unicorn. If you ever do what I just did and your paintbrush falls on top of your canvas, that is not the end of the world. Wash your brush off, wipe your brush off and fix it. The only way you can ever mess up a painting beyond fixing it is to quit. Sometimes we even have little mistakes and there's nothing wrong with it. Wash your paintbrush off, dry your paintbrush off and fix it. So I put one layer of blue paint on there. I will go back in and put another layer in a little bit. While we're waiting for that top area to dry, I'm gonna go in with some fingerprint flowers. So I like to take a little bit of paint on my finger and I like to just set it down on my canvas and make some fingerprint flowers. You can make these any color you want. And if you're feeling really creative, you can even, are you ready to watch this? Add a second color with each of them. How cool does that look? Just keep your finger wiped off if it mixes too much and add a second color. I always like to make my second color white because I think that white just mixes well with everything. So I'm gonna add a whole bunch of fingerprint flowers down here in all different colors, adding a little bit of white to it while I'm waiting on my unicorn and my rainbow to dry. Sometimes when I take my breaks, I look back and look at my paintings and I realize that, wow, I need to add some more shape to that unicorn big time. So I've got my number six round brush and what we're gonna do is we are gonna kinda connect. We're gonna make this less of a loop. So I'm just gonna pull that in and make it less of a loop. And then I'm gonna make this nose come down a little bit. And then swoop into the neck. Like I said, we're making a cartoon one, so it's not gonna look like a, a horse necessarily. It's definitely gonna look like a cartoon unicorn. I'm gonna shape up these ears a little bit more and this horn a little bit more as well. I can go ahead and add a second layer of paint to my unicorn. And while I'm taking care of this, I'm gonna go ahead and take these legs and just kind of connect them fully, make them a little bit fatter. 
So to do that, I'm just setting my paintbrush down and letting those bristles spread out and then pulling it down together. That way I get like a really nice uniform leg shape. I'm not having to go over it a hundred times. I will wait to do my second um, layer of my back legs once my painting um, my of my rainbow is finished. All right, now that I've got my unicorn with a second layer on, let's go ahead and start this rainbow. So I am going to use um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So to do that, I'm gonna start with my number six brown brush with my red paint. And I'm just gonna lay that brush down, same way I just did those legs. I'm laying that brush down so that the bristles are all flattening out. And I'm just gonna take that brush all the way around and across, following the top of my arc shape that I made. I'm going to do that with every single color, making sure that I wash my brush off really well in between because I want to make sure that I don't mix my colors up. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to drop myself into speed motion and I am going to paint this entire rainbow. So we do have to let our rainbow dry a little bit before we can add the rest of our um, unicorn in there, which is fine, because while we're doing that, I'm gonna take a little bit of green and yellow on my brush, and I'm gonna just pull some lines up right here along the sky and the ground, so we don't have that really harsh line between the two. So you just take your paint brush, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, you just pull some of those lines up Plus then, when we get over here, we'll be able to cover the edge of that rainbow up as well. Let's go ahead and work on the front of our unicorn while we're waiting for the back end to dry a little bit. So like I told you, this is gonna be a cartoon unicorn, so I'm gonna make sure that my features are pretty cartoonish. I'm gonna zoom you in on this guy's head so we can detail it out. All right, let's first build his um, face features and then we will add in some of the details. So I'm gonna use my number 10 round brush, not my number 10 round brush, my number six round brush, and I like to water my black paint down a little bit when I do this. Now, if it makes you a little bit nervous to um, have your paint watered down or to paint these details with a brush, you can always use a Sharpie. So right here, I'm gonna make a small curved line, and that's just where his face kind of goes over his neck. I'm gonna make an eye, and it's gonna look like a, it's gonna look like a frowny face. But don't worry, because we're about to add some eyelashes to it to make it not look like a frowny face. I'm going to wash that brush off, and I'm going to mix up some pink, which means I'm going to take a little bit of red and a whole lot of white, and I'm going to mix up some pink for some of these face features that we're going to put on here. So with that really light pink color, I'm going to paint in the front of his little unicorn nose. So I'm just going to make a curved line right here and paint this front in pink. With that same color, I'm going to paint in his bottom two feet that I can see right now. You know, we haven't done the, the hind legs yet because we're waiting for them to dry. That 
That same pink we can go ahead and put just inside of his cute little ear right here. And you can paint your um, unicorn horn any color you want. I'm gonna make mine a really, really, really light blue. So I'm gonna take my light blue color with some white paint and I'm gonna mix those two up. I want it to be lighter than the sky in the background. So a lot of white paint, a little bit of a light blue, and I'm going to make his horn right here light blue. Yeah, I'm even gonna take some of that light pink color and put a little bit just right here on his cheek to look like he's Got some rosy cheeks. All right, wash that brush off, wipe that brush off. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that watered down black paint and I'm gonna put a little bit right here on his belly because this leg is in the back. And then I'm gonna put a little bit right here showing where his hoof is coming out of. I'm gonna take a little bit of that black paint and also make some curved little smiley face lines up here on his horn. And I'm gonna outline his little nostril right here, his little muzzle. A little bit more black paint, I'm just gonna put a small dot right there. All right, I'm washing that brush off, wiping that brush off. I am gonna let the rest of my um, rainbow dry so that I can go ahead and paint his backside, his last two legs, and all of that hair, because I know a lot of this hair is gonna be hitting the rainbow too. So let's let our rainbow dry. When we come back, we'll finish up our unicorn. All right, our background is totally dry and we are ready to add in some of our details. Now you can make your unicorn tail any way you want. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to redraw where the backside of my unicorn is, as well as my unicorn's legs. So there's the backside, my unicorn legs. Like I said with the other one, I'm just going to kind of set my paintbrush down. I've got my number six round brush. And just kind of pull the line out. Same thing with the other one. This one's just going to be back this way a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add that light pink color to the ends of these feet so that they match your other ones. And then as far as my tail goes, I am gonna go ahead and make a couple of lines with white. And you can make these lines kind of be like curly, right? I mean, there's so many choices, it's a unicorn. Or you can make them be straight. So I'm gonna do a couple of each, a couple of curls, a couple of straights. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. So my unicorn um, is gonna have a little bit of hair that kind of swoops around the top up here, but then also we're gonna have some that kind of comes back in front of that ear and also just kind of curls in the wind. So now that I have my colors on there, like I said, I can really totally make this unicorn any way I want as far as his colors go. So if you wanna make yours rainbow, please, please, please continue on with rainbow. Um, I'm gonna make mine rainbow, but a lighter rainbow, which is why I wanted that, that white on there. So I'm gonna go in with my rainbow colors and I'm just gonna kinda add them to that white, allowing some of that white to show, but also allowing some of that color to show. So I'm gonna make a little bit of red on both of these. Wipe that brush off and then I'm gonna go in with my orange. So I'm just gonna go in with each one of my rainbow colors and I'm gonna add some area and I'm not gonna go in rainbow order, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of each area each color to this unicorn body.
grab some of that black paint and I'm going to make a small line right here and another curved line right there just to kind of show where the front is. I'm gonna go ahead and cap off the tops of the legs. And I'm gonna add on here just a small little curved line for his little mouth, I forgot that earlier. I'm gonna wash my brush off. I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint, put it just on top of some of these front areas to kind of blend those colors in together just a little bit, make them kind of connect to the head a little bit more. And if I see a color that seems really aggressive like this yellow right here, I'm just gonna add some more white to it. All right, I think we have it. Remember that when you finish your artwork, you need to pick out a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner down here. Don't forget that I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you share it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.